Hi, welcome to the Small Wood Shop. My name's Joe. And recently, a person on YouTube got in touch with me, with me and wanted to know how I got my polyurethane projects to come out looking so good, which, thank you very much. Uh, this box here, it's all about the time you take, the method, and how many coats you want to put on. This box has eight coats polyurethane. And at the end I was using 4 aught steel wool and 600 grit, pa 600 grit paper. This uh, cigar ashtray, cherry, has eight coats on. Now, it will take me longer to put the finish on a project than it will to actually build the project. Putting the finish on is a takes a tremendous amount of patience and time, especially when you do a project like this. You can do a big table and probably get away with a few more sins. The way you can put on the first two coats, you can put on any means you want. Spray can, out of a can, with a brush or a foam pad, but you're going to use a brush that will accept polyurethane. How the bristles know the difference, don't ask me. When you get above the second coat, you have to go and just use a wipe-on poly. And the best method to do that is take a rag, stuff it with cotton balls, and make yourself a little flat area there. Then dump your poly into a little container. Now it won't take much. Here is three boards. I'll try to show you up close. This is no finish at all. This is what you start with. Sand it to 220 grit. This has one coat. Now it's like you didn't do anything and you, virtually you haven't. Because a lot of it will be sucked into the wood there will be splotchy areas on it. Don't be too concerned. This is two coats and it will be the same thing. Now in between you want to sand this with 220 grit or even 330 grit. It's when you get to the fourth coat, or I'm sorry, the third coat, that you'll start seeing shines and it will start to look better. When I'm finished with this I'll start between, before I do the next coat, I'll use 4 aught steel wool. Now the steel wool comes in different grades. You want to get the 4 aught. That's the finest. When you get up to the fourth coat, you can really start, start feeling really smooth and it will actually take a shorter time to dry between the finishes. And then you get up to the last coat. It should be really smooth. Now unfortunately you're not going to see any flaws till you get to the second or third coat. You can put the third coat on small projects and look and you'll see a sanding mark or any kind of flaw in the wood and that's when you got to stop, take care of it, rub it out with sandpaper and then steel wool it and it will all blend in and put your, your finish back on. You want to, when you pour this in there, you just want to take even strokes. Take time to take a look at it. The reason you put the cotton balls in, if you don't, you'd end up with a mess like that and you'll get uneven distribution. Put it on, don't put very much on, and then just keep wiping it until it looks good to you. And then it's got to take, depends your condition, six, eight hours for this to dry. So you can see if you put five coats on how much time you're getting into. Now that's polyurethane. I use polyurethane because I like the deep warmth look it gives you after many coats. This oak tabletop you see here is actually just two coats of uh, tongue oil. And you can keep putting tongue oil on here and you'll end up with a semi-gloss finish. 
or you can stop now, sand it down a little bit, and put um, polyurethane or anything else you want on. If you're going to build something just for show and it doesn't get handled a lot, then you want to use lacquer. Lacquer is a high gloss like this humidor here. I didn't build this humidor. My son, my son-in-law did. It's a very nice project. But the nice thing about lacquer is it only takes like 10 minutes. You're ready to steel wool it again and give it another coat. So you can actually do a project like this with 10 coats and actually do it within a couple hours. The bad thing about lacquer is it nicks up real easy. So it's up to you, what do you want to use? The most important thing you can do here is you can't be in a hurry. You gotta take your time and you gotta keep examining the wood. I've gone as far as four coats and notice a flaw in the wood. Disappointing to say the least. Well, I got your attention, being we are at the smallwoodshop.com, I make projects here, small projects like this jewelry box. You can buy them at the smallwoodshop.com, like the ashtray, which you can also put a candle in there if you like. We make trivets, fancy trivets, plain trivets, and well, we even make if I can get it off here, barnwood items like clocks. So if you're interested, look me up, smallwoodshop.com, and I hope this has helped. Thank you.